Hello students and welcome to the second part of electronic fuel injection system. Myself, Shankhu Hosh, Assistant Professor of Automobile Engineering Department at Dr. Shudhi Chandra Shu Degree Engineering College under the JIS group. In the previous lecture session, we, we, we already covered about the electronic fuel injection system where we, where we dis discussed the conventional fuel supply system on SI engine and CI engine, the differences in between the carburetor and the injector. Then we will start discuss about the fuel injection system, electronic fuel injection system, its application, its advantages and disadvantages. Today, in today's class, we will discuss the various types of electronic fuel injection system. In between them, here we will detailing, we will study the in detail, in detail that is single point fuel injection system and the multi point fuel injection system. So complete after completing the today's class, student easily able to understand about the multi-point fuel injection system and the single point fuel injection system. So students, let's start the today's class on electronic fuel injection system of module from module number three of modern vehicle technology, which is the seventh semester syllabus of automobile engineering students so students let's start the today's class means that means second part of electronic fuel injection system the fuel injection system or electronic fuel injection system are basically four types that is spfi or single point fuel injection system number two is MPFI or multi-point fuel injection system third is DI that is direct ignition system and this fourth one is CR DI complete diesel injection system now we discuss on let's start discussion on SPFI that is single point injection system. The single point injection or SPI uses a single injector. Uses a single injector at the is fitted into the at the near the shuttle body. That is why this injection system is also known as shuttle body injection system or TBI. So students single point fuel injection system and shuttle body injection system are both are same. This is this was introduced in the year of 1940s in the 1940s in large aircraft engine then called the pressure carburetor and in the 1980s the automotive world called the throttle body injection by general motor central fuel injection by ford pgm and curb by honda and egi by mazda since the fuel passes through the intake runner like a carburetor system, it is called a weight manifold system. The justification for single point injection was low cost. The justification for single point injection was low cost. Many of the carburetors 
supporting components many of the carburetors supporting components such as air cleaner intake manifold and fuel line routing could be reused this postponed the redesign and tooling cost of these components single point injection was used extensively on american made passenger car and light truck during the 1980s to the 1995 and in some euro car in the early and the middle of the 1990s here is a picture of the single point injection system where air is moves in this way through the air flow meter and fuel is here moves into the to the fuel flow meter meter air and fuel meter which is there is the injector there is the injector where is fuel is spray and mixed with this air near the throttle body that is the why is known as a throttle body injector and that's because of the single point is a single point injector after that the mixtures it enters into the intake manifold and then intake manifold to go to the cylinder and then after the combustion it goes to the cylinder to the exhaust manifold then exhaust manifold to the via the silencer to comes it comes to the atmosphere so this is the single point injection diagram the next one is MPFI petrol vehicles uses device called carburetor basically the petrol vehicle uses the device which is called as carburetor for supplying the for supplying the air and fuel mixture in the correct ratio to the cylinder in all rpm ranges however in response however in response to recent demand for cleaner exhaust emission more economical fuel consumption more economical and the fuel consumption improved drive ability etc carburetor should now be equipped with various devices that make it more complex system that makes it more complex system therefore the mpfi or multi point fuel injection system is used assuring proper air fuel ratio assuring the proper air fuel ratio to the engine by electrically injecting fuel in accordance with various driving conditions the primary difference between carburetor and fuel injection the primary difference in between carburetors and the fuel injection is that the fuel injection atomizes the fuel by forcibly pumping it through a small nozzle under high pressure while a carburetor release on suction stick created by the intake air accelerated so a venturi tube to draw the fuel into the air stream to draw the fuel into the air this mpfi system injects this this mpfi system inject fuel into individual cylinder mpfi system inject fuel into the individual cylinder which is based on the comments the based on the comments from on board engine management system computer from the on board engine management system computer which is 
popularly known as engine control unit or electrocce these techniques result not only in better power balance among the cylinder but also in highest hour output from each one of them along the faster throttle response optimized ratio of air fuel mixture is supplied optimized ratio of air fuel mixture is supplied to the combustion chamber in varying the varying the driving condition with the help of electronic fuel injection system the multi point fuel injection system which is consist of which is consist of various kind of sensor which detect the engine condition the engine ecu which controls the system based on signal from the sensor and the actuators which operate the actuator which operates under the control of engine ecu this engine ecu carries out activities such as fuel injection control ideal air control and the ignition timing ground control in addition the engine issue in addition the engine issue is equipped with a number of diagnostic test modes which simplify troubleshooting when a problem develops when a problem develops now comes to the objective of the is system that means mpfi system the main the functional objectives for fuel system can be the functional objective of this of for the fuel injection system can vary all share the central task to supply the fuel to the combustion process but it is a design decision how a particular system is optimized there are the several competing objectives such as the power output fuel efficiency emission performance ability to acc accommodate alternative fuel reliability drivability and smooth operation initial cost maintenance cost so diagnostic capability range of environmental operation and engine team this mpfi this mpfi or multi point fuel injection system consist of four major components the four these four major components are air intake air intake system fuel delivery system electronic control system and emission control system so let's start with this air intake system the function of air intake system is to allow the function of air intake system is to allow air to reach your car engine 
oxygen in the air is one of the necessary integrity for the engine combustion process a good air intake system a good air intake system allow for clean and continuous clean and continuous air into the engine thereby achieving more power and better mileage thereby achieving more power and better mileage for your car a modern automobile air intake system has the c main parts that is that are the air filter mass flow sensor and the shuttle body so students let's start with this air filter an air filter is an important part of a car intake system because it is through the air filter that the engine breathes it is usually a plastic or the metal box in which the air filters in which the air filter sits the air filter's job is to filter out the dirt and the other foreign particles in the air and preventing them from entering the system and possibly damages in the engine here is the picture of the air filter which is held to filter the dirt and the foreign particle from the air and preventing them to entering the system and possibly damaging the engine next is mass air flow sensor e mass air flow sensor is used a mass air flow sensor is used to define to find out to find out the mass of air entering a fuel injected fuel injected internal combustion engine from mass filter sensor does it goes to the shuttle body there are two common types of mass air flow sensor which is used in automotive engine they are the vein meter the they are the vein meter and the hot wear the vein type has a flap the vein type has a flap that is pushed by the incoming air the more air coming in the more the flap is pushed back the hot wear uses a series of wire strung in the air stream the electrical resistance the electrical resistance of the wire increases the wear temperature increases the electrical resistance of the wire increases of the wire increases when when the temperature of the wire increases which limits the electrical current flow, flow, flowing through the circuit next is throttle the throttle body is the part of the air 
intake system that control the amount of air flowing into an engine's combustion chamber. Engine combustion chamber. It consists of bore housing that contains a throttle plate that rotates on a shaft. When the accelerator is depressed, when the accelerator is depressed, the throttle plate opens, throttle plate opens open and allow air into the engine. When the accelerator is pressed, the throttle plate open and allow air into the engine. Throttle plate gate closed when the accelerator pedal is released. Throttle plate get closed. Pedal get closed when the accelerator pedal is released and thus effectively choked of the airflow in the combustion chamber. This process effectively controls the rate of combustion and ultimately speed of the vehicle. So student, this is the air intake system. Next is fuel delivery system. The fuel is in the fuel is in the fuel tank which is pumped up by the fuel pump the filter by the fuel filter the fuel is filtered by the fuel filter and feed under the pressure to feed and feed under the pressure Fade under the pressure to each injector through the delivery pipe. As the, as, as, as the fuel pressure applied to the injector, which is always kept a certain amount of higher than the pressure in the intake manifold by the fuel pressure regulator. The fuel is injected. The fuel is injected into the intake port of the cylinder head. When the injector is open, according to the injection signal from ECEM, the fuel delivered by the fuel pressure regulator return to the fuel return to the fuel tank. This fuel delivery system consists of fuel pump, pressure regulating system, injector, the injector. So student, let's start with this fuel pump. Here is a picture of the fuel pump. So this is the inlet valve, this is the chamber the diaphragm that is the solenoid this is the contact the rod and the return spring and this one is the exit valve so this is the picture of the fuel pump the electrical fuel pump located on the electrical fuel pump located on the fuel tank consists of armature magnet impeller brush, check valve, etc. The ECM engine control module controls its operation. When the power is supplied to the fuel pump, when power is supplied to the fuel pump, the motor in the pump runs and do does the impeller. This causes a pressure difference to occur between both sides of the impeller as there are many groups 
around it then the fuel is drawn through the inlet port and with its presence and with it pressure increases it is discharged to the outlet port the fuel pump also has a check valve to keep some pressure in the intake feed line even even when the fuel pump is stopped so this is the fuel next one is pressure regulator system the fuel pressure regulator the fuel pressure regulator is a pressure relief valve that consists of a spring diaphragm and a valve it keeps the fuel pressure applied to the injector 2.9 kg per centimeter square higher than intake manifold at all times the pressure applied to the upper chamber the pressure applied to the upper chamber of the fuel pressure regulator intake manifold pressure and that to the low low chamber is fuel pressure and is e to the lower chamber is fuel pressure when the fuel pressure rises more than when the fuel pressure is rises more than 2.9 kg per centimeter square higher than the intake manifold pressure the fuel pushes the valve in the regulator open and access the fuel return to the fuel tank through the return line so here is the pressure regulator system next one is the injector each cylinder has one injector for its work each cylinder has one injector for its work which is installed between the intake manifold delivery pipe injector is a electromagnetic type injection nozzle type nozzle type in the uh, in uh, each cylinder has one injector for its work which is installed between the intake manifold delivery pipe the injector is a electromagnetic pipe injection nozzle that perform it works according to the signal from the ecm and injects the fuel in the intake port of the cylinder when the solenoid coil when the solenoid coil of the injector is energized when the solenoid coil of the injector is energized by ecm it becomes an electromagnet and attract the plunger at the same time the valve which is incorporated with the plunger open and opens and the injector which is under the fuel pressure injects fuel as the lip smoke as the lip stroke of the ball valve of the injector is set constant the amount of fuel injected rate the amount of fuel injected at one time is determined by the length of the time during which the solenoid is being energized so this is the injector so so then this is the various methods types of this so these are the uh, this is this is a uh, uh, fuel delivery system next is electronic control system the electronic control system consist of the electronic control system consist of various sensor which detects the state of engine and the driving condition ecm is device which control various devices ecm is a device ecm is a device which controls the 
which controls the various devices according to the signal from the sensor and various control devices. The systems are fuel injection control system, ideal speed control system, fuel pump control system, ignition control system and the radiation fan control system. First one is the fuel injection control system. The work of electronic fuel injection system. The work of electronic fuel injection system is to supply air fuel mixture of optimized ratio to the combustion chamber under the different driving different under the different driving condition it uses the sequential it uses the sequential multiport fuel injection system which inject fuel into each intake port which inject fuel which inject fuel into the each intake port of the cylinder head. In this system, ECM control the time and timing of the fuel injection from the fuel injector into the cylinder head intake port according to the signal from the various sensors so that suitable air fuel ratio or air fuel mixture is supplied to the engine in which driving condition in each driving condition next is ideal speed control system this system control the bypass air flow by means of ECM and AC valve for the following purpose to keep the engine ideal speed to keep the engine ideal speed at the specified at all the time the engine ideal speed can vary due to load applied to the engine to improve starting performance of the engine and compensate air fuel mixture ratio when deaccelerating improve drivability while engine is warmed up. SC developed AC valve operates according to the duty signal you send from the ECM. The ECM defects the engine condition by using the signal from the various signals and switches and the control of the bypass airflow by changing AC valve open. This is the ideal speed control. Next is the fuel pump control system. ECM control on or off operation of the fuel pump by turning it on. The fuel pump relay under any condition while crankshaft position sensor or the camshaft position sensor signal is inputted to the ECM. Next is ignition control system. Ignition control system electrically control the time of flow, the time of flow of electric current in primary ignition coil and the ignition timing. The ECM judges the engine and the vehicle condition by using signals from various sensor selected the most suitable electric current flow time and ignition time for that engine and the vehicle condition from the among those. Restore it, it restore in its memory and sends the an ignition signal to the igniter in ignition coil is assembly. Next is the radiator fan control system. The system is controlled operation 
owner of of the radiator fan motor radiator fan motor is turned on and off by its relay when ecm control radiator fan motor turned on at below 98 degree celsius and off at below 93 degree celsius so radiator fan motor turned on when the temperature is below 98 degree 898 degree celsius and stop when the temp when the motor turn below at the 93 degree celsius next is the emission control system the need for controlling the emission in automobiles is the root cause for the development of computerization of automobile hydrocarbons hydrocarbons carbon monoxide and oxide of nitrogen are created during the combustion process and are emitted into the atmosphere from the tailpipe this control system is included air injection exhaust gas recirculation catalytic converter first is air injection secondary air injection is the first development secondary air injection is the first developed exhaust emission control system originally this system was used to inject the air into the engine's exhaust port to provide the oxygen so unburned and partially burned hydrocarbon in the exhaust would finish the burning that is how the engine air emission is required next one is exhaust gas recirculation many engines have a system many engine have a system that routes a metered amount of exhaust a metered amount of exhaust into the intake tract under particular operating condition exhaust neither burn nor support the combustion so it dilute the air fuel charge to reduce peak combustion chamber temperature next is the catalytic converter the catalytic converter is a device which is placed in the exhaust pipe which converts the hydrocarbon carbon monoxide nox into less harmful gases by using a combination of platinum palladium and rhodium as a catalyst there are two types of catalytic converter one is two way converter and another is three way converter now coming to the working principle of the mpfi the working of mpfi engine is somewhat similar to the carburetor engine each cylinder is treated individually and input is fed and input is fed to the computerized system in order to calculate the amount of air in order to calculate the amount of air and the fuel is to be mixed and the fuel is to be mixed and sent to the combustion chamber a several stages of calculation a several stages of calculation are to be made in order to judge the right amount of fuel to the mixed after the calculation the proper fuel is delivered the proper fuel is delivered at the proper instance there are a number of sensor used in the mpfi engine at the time at the time when the inputs are given to the car's computer it begins to read the given sensor the things which can be known from the sensor are listed below the things which are we can be seen in the sensor below that the engine temperature of the vehicle engine load the speed at which the engine is running the position of the accelerator the rate of the exhaust and the cylinder air fuel pressure
the amount of fuel to be injected the amount of fuel to be injected into the combustion chamber is decided by analyzing is decided by analyzing the input given to the computerized system of the MPFI engine. Now come to the sensor which is used for the MPFI that are the exhaust gas sensor, intake manifold pressure sensor, a throttle position sensor, engine coolant temperature sensor, air flow sensor, air temperature sensor, crankshaft position sensor and the vehicle speed sensor. Now come to the advantages. It improves the fuel consumption, it reduces the emission, and it, it increases the it is a good it is it is better performances. It has better performances. What are the disadvantages? The problem with this system is that because the injection is done into the admission valve, and when the admission valve opens, some fuel will not enter the combustion chamber. So there will be some fuel waste and the timing is killed mechanically by the camshaft. This problem not only exists in the system but also in very single one system that was analyzed before. This is because of all of these systems are with indirect injection. The indirect injection has also other problems like spontaneous ignition that is a very common problem in, in electronic injection system with the indirect ignition. So to overcome this problem, it was developed a multi-point fuel injection system with the indirect injection. Complexity and cost are the main disadvantage of direct injection system. Direct injection systems are more comprehensive to build because their components must be more rough. They handle fuel at significantly higher pressure than indirect injection system and the injectors themselves must be able to withstand the heart and pressure of combustion inside the cylinder. So students in today's class we cover about the various types of electronic fuel injection system and in between them we, we uh, discussed we discussed here we already discussed here elaborately that is single point fuel inje injection and multi point fuel ignition so and third part and and the third part of these we discuss on the next class so still then stay at home and stay safe thank you thank you so much students